The Apexum procedure is designed as a complementary step to standard root canal treatments with the intention of treating and healing periapical lesions. Periapical lesions are found in about 50% of all treated root canals. However, standard root canal treatment does not specifically address this issue. During the standard procedure for root canal treatment, an apical patency up to file number 30 is applied, creating a passage through the apex into the periapical lesion. Then an apical stop is made by using a file number 40, positioned at 1 millimeter coronal to the apex. After a stabilizer is placed over the orifice opening, the first of two apexum tools called the nitie ablator, consisting of a specially designed nitinol blade concealed within a nitinol sheath, is inserted through the canal up to the previously created apical stop. The nitinol sheath is then cemented to the crown, and the ablator is pushed through and beyond the apex into the lesion. The ablator is now rotated at 250 RPM for 30 seconds, thus roughly grinding the lesion tissue while leaving the bony crypt intact. After removal of the NIT ablator, a second tool, the PGA ablator, which consists of a bioabsorbable flexible filament, is inserted into the ground tissue and rotated at 5000 RPM for 30 seconds, mincing it further to an even finer consistency. The PGA ablator is removed and a 30 gauge needle is inserted through the canal. The lesion is now rinsed and flushed out with saline. Once the backflow fluid appears clear, the needle is removed. After the procedure, a standard root canal filling is performed. As demonstrated in clinical studies, more than 90% of lesions treated with apexum heal within one to three months. This enables restoration work to commence earlier than in current practice.